So I made a video recently about coating corners one side at a time, the good old fashioned way. That's how I like to do it. And a lot of you guys started asking about a corner trowel. And I had to think, what the heck's a corner trowel? And then I realized, oh, you guys are talking about my plank shim. This is by far the best use I've found for it over the few years I've owned it. Ta-da! So once I figured that out, I went and made a quick video about how to use this thing. But now, my plank's really unstable. Okay, so we have a corner. Alright, so I like to use a 4 inch knife, theoretically, if I actually like to use one of these. Because this is about 4 inches. So, obviously, apply mud liberally to both sides of the corner. It doesn't matter how pretty it looks right now, just that it's relatively even. Okay, so I haven't actually done this in years. I didn't even do a practice one. But, let's just kind of push it. Let's just mash it. Yeah, it looks like it usually did. So what I didn't do that I'm supposed to, I kind of forgot, was to feather my edge first. I'm feathering my edge, which is going to put most of the mud around here. Okay, so now I'm actually ready to do this. And I'm pushing in. Okay, that wasn't bad. But now I have to feather my edge again. And it's also not thick enough here and way too thick in the middle. So it follows the edges, it leaves way too much buildup in some spots and then not enough in others. So I really am not a fan of this method, but it can be used. So feather your edge for easy sanding. Let's move on down a little further, see if I can speed things up a bit. must be really uneven because it's just eaten mud. So that's another thing. If the corner is not very square, it's going to behave a little differently. Okay, so better the edge. Better the edge. I'm going to go once this way. So I suppose if I was totally green and struggled with corners, I'd look at this and be like, that's not bad. But I've done a lot of corners in my day and this is not good. Let's see if we can get up close. See, it's like, it looks okay, passable to the unknowing. It's also way more work than just coating by hand. So we are about to get to one of the points that I've been looking forward to, because this is one of the places where I can really point out the failing of this method. Because what would be the benefits to doing this? Well, okay, the benefit is that I'm getting both sides at the same time. Woo! So that all comes to a head once you get into your three-way corner. 
because no matter what, your three-way corner, which is this thing, is always going to require two coats to be able to tune that up. So I'm doing something that takes longer in the first place, doesn't do quite as nice a job as I can do by hand or with actual professional corner tools, which if you've watched my other video, are those silly fishing lure looking things that I have in my case. All right, so let's do this. Yeah, mash it. So I just don't have the same dexterity trying to mash this mud on both sides as I otherwise did. Get into this corner, Whoop. right here. So it's not the worst thing I've ever seen, but I see a lot of sanding. I see too much mud buildup inside. And what's gonna happen with all this mud in here is it's gonna shrink and there's gonna be a hairline crack. I don't like that. No, see, and I just can't, it's my angle, I know that, but. Yeah, it's um, barely adequate, but not professional. So no matter what, I still have to come back in here and do some extra coats to clean that up. So it really doesn't matter that I've done both sides. So that's probably like my fourth or fifth time ever trying to use this tool. Now, what you guys need to keep in mind is I've been working with mud for years. So I actually make that look pretty easy and I have a half decent finished result. So most people that try and use this tool are really gonna struggle and it's not gonna look like that. So I think the best way for anybody who's less experienced in drywall is gonna to be to coat your corners one side at a time with a regular putty knife. Okay, but in all seriousness, yes, I don't really use this because I find I can get a better result faster with a four inch or five inch knife. Also, if I actually have a lot of drywall to do, I much prefer to use my corner flushers with, I use this to apply the mud at the end of a big compound tube and then this at the end of a pole to glaze the corners. And I find it does a really nice job way faster than by hand or by using the corner trowel. So small jobs get this, bigger jobs get this, and I still haven't found a better use for this than the plank shim. However, let's get into where these come from. So I think these are kind of a tool that is sort of sold to do it yourself, to help make it a little easier to try and finish that corner because it's so difficult if you don't know to do one side at a time. But where I believe these are actually useful is in plaster. So if you're coating your ceiling and walls at the same time, you've got everything coated out, I think when they're at the polishing stage, they run this down the corner and it leaves a nicely finished corner that they can then polish the rest of the wall into. So I believe that's where these come from and what their best and most intended use is actually for. Although, like you guys saw, I got an adequately coated corner with this. It was just slower and I had to touch it up by hand after. And when I coat corners with this, it's one coat done every time. So that's my experience with a corner trowel. If you like it and it's really useful to you, let me know in the comments. A tool is a tool, and if you're getting good results using it, then carry on. It's just my opinion. So anyways, thanks for watching Vancouver Carpenter. I hope you found today's video useful. Again, if you want to support the channel, do all those YouTube-y things and subscribe and likey and comment and all that nonsense. Anyways, everybody else is always telling you to do that stuff, so I don't need to do it all the time. So thanks for watching Vancouver Carpenter. Until the next video.